All right, so this is gonna be my follow-up to the Lynx 40 volt brushless cordless blower uh, from Harbor Freight. I believe this is a Harbor Freight brand. Uh, if you haven't seen my initial review, uh, click the link in the card and um, we'll check it out. So the question I had, uh, performance and everything was really good on this um, blower. Really had no complaints at it, especially at the price point. But the one thing that was questionable that first time I, I used it in that first video that I released was the first time I used it. Um, just unboxed it, used it to blow off the yard after a mowing was battery life. So after uh, just blowing off my yard, which is about an acre of property after mowing, um, blowing off driveways, sidewalks, etc., the battery uh, indicators went down um, to less than half. And so, uh, you know, I, I assumed that was just because the battery wasn't fully conditioned yet. It's a new lithium battery, et cetera, et cetera. Everything you see about that uh, online and read about it says that batteries don't get their full capacity until uh, charge and discharge a couple times. So we're gonna do a quick test here and a follow-up to see what battery life is. So I'm gonna go grab the battery off the charger. It's uh, fully charged and we'll give it a quick test. I could do this one-handed here. So I just put the battery back on the charger just to get it a quick top off, make sure it's completely charged. So as soon as this light goes off, the red light, um, according to the indicator here, means it's charging. When this light comes on green, it means the battery is fully charged. So we'll just wait until that finishes topping off so we have a full battery. Okay, battery is full, freshly charged. So um, before I run the test, uh, I'll say that what I used to get, well, that first time I mowed, and really the second time was about the same. Um, after one one you know use of blowing off my yard, as I mentioned, the indicator would get down. I think the first time it took three bars away and only had one left, which was pretty uh, concerning to me. But then after a couple of uses, I had two bars left, and now after using it, it's been about, oh, I don't know, a few months. Um, in most cases, I've only used one bar. So the battery seems to be conditioned, it's stable. So uh, yeah, definitely satisfied with battery life at this point. Um, the question is now, how much battery life can we get? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna attempt to run it full power, so that is, um, at max and with the turbo switch compressed. So I'm gonna to try to use some zip ties and whatnot to set it up. I'm gonna put a timer next to it so we can see how long of a battery life we get in this thing. So we'll do that here when we get back. All right, so we got it set up. Uh, all I need to do is tie down the turbo button. Our dial indicator is at max. And I'm gonna Tie down the turbo button so we're using up all the power. Hopefully this works. Yeah, that should work. And then I'll just um, slide this back and it should kick on. And I've got timer here ready to go. And uh, we'll give this a shot. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna Start my timer cam here. And we'll be off just a couple seconds here, but well, let's start this first.
Nine minutes. I'm not sure if it's my ears, but it seems. There it goes. Just shy of nine minutes, and I could tell it was slowing down a little bit. So, nine minutes of continuous runtime with the turbo and the max setting on the speed. So that's what it is. Um, not bad if you consider. Uh, Let's see how the battery feels. If I can get this out one-handed. Battery, a little warm in the bottom here, but I don't know, maybe, maybe 100 degrees. Not enough to be a concern. It's uh, not bad at all. And let's just check the indicator. It should be, yeah, it shows one bar, but I'm guessing that's, um, low enough voltage where the uh, safety circuitry turned off the turned off the motor. Let me see if it'll kick on if I put it back in. Yeah, another five or ten seconds. So the battery is dead. So it's about uh, nine minutes of charge time at the highest speed. Uh, I'm sure it'd be a lot longer than that if you didn't use the turbo. Um, you know, at this setting and, and certainly higher than that if you set the range. But I find really uh, the dial set to max and then you know the regular trigger is usually enough for most of what you need. And then if you need just a little power, just that extra kick is perfect. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, it's it's certainly not a commercial unit, but you know, like I mentioned in my initial review vi review video. Um, for a residential, uh, I know some people in the comments said they use stuff like this for uh, throwing in a camper to blow off um, before they set up camp. Perfect unit for that. You know, almost 10 minutes of runtime on full power. That's more than enough that most people need. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thumbs up on the uh, battery performance. You know, the only thing, like I mentioned, is this uh, really couldn't fit another larger battery unless they designed one that stuck out further which i guess they could do but you know something tells me that this harbor freight brand is not really gonna see a lot of upgrades but overall i recommend it i like it thanks a lot for watching guys um let me know if you got any more questions i'll try to shoot another video if you do um and uh, hit that subscribe button guys thanks again